What's up, America? This is Omar Hosea, the real. Coming back at you one more time. Saying shalom and peace to you folks. I haven't been sending out any videos lately because new tests and new times uh, calls off of different experiences. You know, and though all of our experiences are different, we're in the same world, we're in the same mind, uh, we're in this. It's not the same mind, skin, or tongue. When you have the same, we have a brain, nose, eyes. And some of us may be lacking an extra arm or finger or missing an eye or a tooth. You know what I mean? You know, but it doesn't make us incomplete. But the purpose of this thing here that I'm talking about today is about uh, serving more than one master. You know what I mean? Serving more than one master. And so I found myself, Israel, um, Ishmael, and to our neighboring friends and those who are human like us, those who are compassionate like us, those who seek the, the common and all things or the good and all things regardless if it makes gives me an evil result. Because those things are only evil if I don't accept it. I can call it evil. You know, but you know, evil is what evil does concerning to who is being done to and who's doing it. That I did mention, this is about masters. And so lately, uh, I've been practicing. I've been almost, almost my own master. And because I haven't got a certificate from any anybody else to validate. My ability to be a master, called a master's degree. They say a master's degree in what? Science, uh, mathematics, uh, business, theology. You know, everybody can validate uh, somebody else's skill according to a certificate, like your birth certificate or a gift certificate. Medication. Yeah truth so anyway for those of you who have a, a problem with me taking do have, have my medication and those of you who play holy rollers are probably popping a vicodin or xp or whatever it is or viagra you know that's an addict or addictive behavior because you don't need it but you're using it so it still has everything to do with masters and so i found out that some masters, like um, doctors who have their uh, master's degrees in doctor or pharmaceutical, that they've mastered how to manipulate a situation to best suit their own needs or their own personal pleasures. Or And so they themselves, now they've deemed master, lord things over people like you and me, and they put them in these books and teach us limited access. But one thing nobody I notice that nobody talks about is that thou should not serve no masters but the most high. You know? And so I'm in a city where my master was one myself, two, uh my sorrow, three, what people thought about me, four, uh the environment which I was born into, five, the people who prepared the environment prior to me being born, uh, six, what I choose to use or how to uh, make me feel better or worse at any given moment, and that I was a master over my own pain and sorrow. And I never asked the most high, to be the master of my life because I was looking for a master doctor, a master psychologist, a master, uh, a master, whatever. And I didn't seek the master of life, of life and death. 
I, and I can't blame it on Satan or the devil. I can only blame it on me. And because these principalities are stronger and bigger than me, but yet they can't do anything unless I give them the embodiment or the embodiment to take over. First, I have to leave my mind from all my sorrow and say, I don't want to feel this no more. And so I let other people's sorrows and problems and solutions come in. And so now that I'm out of my mind, literally, I put all these things in my mind. And so this would have never been my medication, but it would have been my drug of choice. Alcohol would not have been uh, a social thing, but it would be uh, my drug of choice. And at one time when I was an addict of crack cocaine, which was my drug of choice, that was my master. And in the Bible, in the Quran, let's just say the Torah. Let's just stick to the source. I'm tired of mentioning all these other books. The Torah says that thou should not serve no other gods but the Most High. And everything else, I should have power over it. Because the Most High... He created all things and gave me the knowledge to subdue these things. So, if I take a pure substance and subdue the pure substance and break it into, keep its pure substance and keep pure and add something else to make that pure a little more appropriate for that pain or situation, then I'm supposed to subdue that pure and make it healthy, a pure healthy. See, it was pure in itself, but when I take the pure and I put me in it, or my God like in it, I have to make sure it's good, good and pure and healthy for the whole body. And so the master of all things, which is the most high, gets all the glory in that. But I've been learning that, you know, when I take what is pure and I make it unhealthy for other people, I'm guilty and I'm serving myself. And the devil wants me to serve myself. Because that's the essence of my pride. So today, you know, I only rather serve one master, and that's the Most High Yahweh, Elion, Elion, the God of Moses, Jacob, and Enoch. You know, and you know, working on his nationality thing. Uh, you know, to break away from the unholy masters like this corporation corporate law and stuff you know and i'm thinking how do people run for office who is a color of skin call themselves blacks african americans and all that not realizing that there's no such creature but yet they want to be a politician and you first have to be a part of a nation or be nationalized to even be part of any government legally more sundry acts 1790 or 1780 Negro Act 1740 uh, Naturalist Act I believe 1740 as well or 1750 1760 but you know the Most High said you can't serve two masters also Yahshua said if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of me and he who sent me. So that right there lets you know that Christ can't be your master. This world can't be your master. But he who sent Christ shall be the master of all. You know? And uh, what does it say to use this, America? When the master comes and find you toiling on something other than his business, you'll be made accountable for that. So for today, happy Sabbath. Have a good day. And remember, the Most High should be the only master. And you should be the image of that master and do what the master has suggested and prescribed. Peace, Selah, and wish y'all the best, and you the best.
پیش